In Love in Paradise, the Caribbean Season 3, the most controversial couple, Pedro Gimno's mom Lydia Morrill and her American boyfriend Scott Wern, had a tumultuous journey that ended surprisingly. Lydia, who is a 57-year-old from the Dominican Republic and works as a lawyer for a living, found love overseas just like her son did with Chantal Everett. Amid news of Pedro wanting a divorce from Chantal, Lydia became the main character of her own show together with 51-year-old Florida man Scott. She was single for 12 years since leaving Pedro's dad Lydia's new boyfriend Scott is a registered respiratory therapist from Spring Hill and was previously married to his high school sweetheart for 25 years. If Lydia and Scott end up moving forward in their relationship, Lydia could move to the U.S. permanently to be with her single son, Pedro. Lydia used to be disliked by audiences for the way she treated Chantel on the family Chantel, but Lydia has suffered a lot in her own love life over the years Scott discovered dating apps after his divorce and played the field for 10 years before he met Lydia. Meanwhile, Lydia was in need of company after 12 years of loneliness and felt it was spectacular when Scott came into her life. 90-day fiancés Lydia was introduced to Scott by her daughter Nicole Gino's ex-boyfriend from the U.S., Alejandro Padron. When Scott was in New York for a travel contract, he happened to meet Alejandro in the gym and started to give him tips. Nicole had shown Lydia a photo of Scott and that's when the relationship took off. Scott dropped a bombshell on Lydia on Love in Paradise Season 3, Episode 7. He claimed he was done with the translator app and was upset about not being able to have a real conversation with her. Lydia was caught unaware because Scott had been okay with dating her despite the language differences. Scott later admitted he had a different reason to break up with Lydia. He had been talking to an ex-girlfriend from Colombia and wanted to get back together with her. Scott claimed to have gone to the Dominican Republic to meet Lydia because he didn't feel like throwing away the year or so they'd spent dating online. Scott ended up flying his ex-girlfriend to the Dominican Republic to stay with him and rekindle their relationship. However, his ex seemed to be creeped out by how hot and heavy Scott came on and she ditched him Lydia and Scott haven't confirmed or denied whether they're still in contact after 90-day fiancé, love in paradise. But a major clue about their current relationship does lie in their Instagram profiles. Lydia and Scott don't follow each other on social media. They used to follow each other and seem to have clicked the unfollow button after they parted ways. Scott might have gone back to his 29-year-old ex-girlfriend who had ghosted him after taking his money. He should have given Lydia a fair chance at proving she was worth it because she really loved him on Scott's side of things, he has been publicly pining for other 90-day fiancé alums. He was flirting with Tiffany Franco on social media as well as with Amanda Wilhelm. Moreover, Scott was seen partying with Angela Deem, sparking romance rumors between the two Scott is also still apparently on and off with his Colombian ex, because he still makes posts about her Scott is trying to remain relevant in the franchise, but he certainly burned the bridge with Lydia, Pedro, and Nicole. Whether Scott is still looking for love internationally is also unknown. However, Scott also burned a bridge with the 90 Day Fiancé Network after he slammed the show for giving him a villain edit. It's doubtful whether he can ever make a return to the franchise Lydia seems to be sworn off men again as she hasn't introduced anyone on her Instagram account. She appears to be focused on her relationship with her children and herself. Over the time she and Scott have been broken up, Lydia has undergone a body transformation. Her Instagram account is filled with images and videos of her working hard at the gym. While true love wasn't in the cards for Lydia and Scott in 90 Day Fiancé, Love in Paradise, it did help keep them in the public eye.